welcome back to my channel. So Seeking Sister Wife is finally back. We had our first episode of season four last night and I'm excited. This season looks like it's going to be good and the Merrifields are back and they're looking for a third sister wife and I didn't see this one coming at all. So first we're going to talk about the updates and their third sister wife and look into more about who Leo, their third potential sister wife is. And we're going to talk about all the updates we got from this season premiere is seeking sister wife so danielle and garrick revealed that their sister wife roberta that we met last season she's still in brazil and the merrifields claim that roberta's visa was just approved a few months ago but she's still in brazil because her mother's health isn't the best right now and garrick failed at his attempt at trying to get roberta pregnant during their last trip to mexico over a year ago and so it's been more than a year since Garrick and Danielle have seen Roberta and the couple is getting a bit anxious to continue to expand their family. Garrick doesn't want to miss out on another missed opportunity waiting forever on Roberta. So Garrick said it was actually Danielle's idea and she's the one who approached him about the idea of adding another wife to the mix. And Garrett gave it the green light. He was like, yep, this sounds like a good idea. So they met this 30-year-old by the name of Leah on social media. And they've been talking for three weeks now. And now it's to the point where they want to travel to L.A. to meet up with Leah. And it's very interesting because I was hoping this was another season of Danielle crying every episode. And Garrett gaslighting her emotions. But now it's starting to get interesting because the tables have turned and now it seems Roberta's getting a taste of what Danielle has been going through with the introduction of a new potential sister wife in the mix because Roberta's not keen on the idea of the Merrifields trying to find someone else outside of her because she wants to be able to move to America and settle down before another wife comes in but they don't even have any idea when that will be. And Danielle likes the idea of having another wife because that way when Roberta does finally come and she's busy with Garrick, Danielle will have another wife to be there and support her and have someone to help distract her when Garrick is putting his attention and time into another wife. So who is Leah, this new potential sister wife that the Merrifields are trying to court? Well, Leah is a 30-year-old nurse. She lives in California and Danielle says she has one son pretty close in age to Danielle and Garrick's boys. Danielle and Garrick have a son that's 12 and 13 and Leah has a 10 year old son and she says that Leah has been in a plural relationship before but it didn't work out but she was really young at the time and Garrick said that she's very artistic. Danielle said she's very bold. So Leah's parents lived a plural lifestyle and Leah herself attempted a plural relationship before she had her son and she says it wasn't successful but I'm ready to get back out there and she said for me polygamy is just a lifestyle choice I'm not doing it for any specific religious reason the dynamic of having multiple adults in the household is just the way I grew up I'm just so used to it I don't think that I would be able to be in a singular relationship I think I wouldn't know what to do and thanks to Starcasm we also have additional info on Leah I'll leave the article linked in the description but Leah is indeed a nurse she lists her hometown as Portland Oregon Leah attended the Good Samaritan School of Nursing and she graduated almost two years ago and like I said she has a 10 year old son she doesn't have any other kids besides her son and it appears that her and her son's father have a really good co-parenting relationship he posts pictures of him and his son together all the time and he has nothing but extremely positive things to say about his son and Leah unfortunately Leah also had a very traumatic childhood when she was 20 years old she was the subject of an article about children making the transition from foster care into adulthood and according to the article Leah's mother was on drugs and had issues with drugs and when Leah was seven her mother was reported to CPS and as a result Leah and her younger sister entered the foster care system and that was the beginning of a very long, rough journey for Leah. So she hopped from foster home to foster home, suffering physical, mental, and essay on multiple occasions. And Leah says she told police and her extended family about everything she was going through, but nothing happened. She just kept getting recycled back into the system. And this was a continuing cycle for Leah until she was in her late teens. 
So Alameda County's Independent Living Skills Program helped Leah get housing in Oakland when she was 17 years old and she was being independent and allowed her to focus on her education. She eventually earned her high school diploma and Leah ended up getting pregnant when she was 19 with her son and she had been slowly rebuilding her relationship with her biological father, but he ended up getting shot and killed when she was seven months pregnant and Leah has indicated on Facebook recently so Leah has really had to overcome a lot after her rough childhood and losing both of her parents but I have the uttermost respect for her for still chasing her dream getting her degree and making the most out of life and in addition to nursing Leah also has a side hustle selling THC infused adult treats and the social media accounts that she sells those treats on hasn't been active since June of last year. So I don't know if this is still an active business that she's currently pursuing. Also, if you're curious, when was all this filmed? When the Merrifields decided to go out to LA and meet Leah. According to Leah's Facebook, she posted that she was flying to LA on July 3rd of 2021. And just a few weeks before that, Danielle had said that she was going to start filming for the new season of Seeking Sister Wife. And she said at that time when she met Leah that they had only been talking for about three weeks. So that's my best guess for the timeline. I know that Danielle said that they're about to start filming a few weeks before then because I ended up making a video because there's this controversy because Danielle was about to start filming. So she started texting this hairdresser saying, hey, I'm about to start filming. I have to go out to LA. I got something going on. I need to get these hair extensions. So she was going to fly this hairdresser and this hairdresser's team out to Colorado to meet up with her before she went out to LA. And then at the very last minute after this hairdresser had already booked her team booked her hotel booked her flight Danielle ended up texting this hairdresser and canceling and saying that production had found somebody for her to do her hair and makeup and she would no longer need her. And this hairdresser got super upset and ended up posting all the screenshots of her and Danielle's conversation. And this all went down just a few weeks before Leah posted on her Facebook that she was flying out to LA. So that's why I believe that's when she met up with the Merrifield. So that means what we're seeing now on TV was filmed almost a year ago. So hopefully they've seen Roberta between now and then because if not, that means it's going on almost two years without the Merrifield seeing Roberta. And Leah has absolutely no mention of Danielle or Garrick on her social media aside from preview clips from the show posted on Sunday for the new season. And Danielle and Garrick don't have anything posted about Leah on their social medias either. And Seeking Sister White producers though, they've been pretty good at preventing spoilers from being posted by the cast members though. And I can say that is true because of all the shows, 9 Day Fiance, Love After Lockup, Seeking Sister Wife, I don't think I've ever seen that many spoilers. Like, I've seen the little ones here and there, but nothing like really big or magical. Plus, the Merrifields have been good about abiding by their contract and leaving the mystery going. Because I remember after season three ended last summer, everyone was speculating that Danielle was single because she was posting all these photos by herself. And people were like, where's Garrick? She must not be with Garrick anymore. And I knew that they were going to be on the new season. So I figured it's for NDA. And then when I looked deeper into a couple of her pictures she posted, you could see Garrick in the reflection of the picture. I was like, okay, yeah, they're still together. So as of the timing of when they filmed this show, Danielle and Garrick have been together for over 15 years and have started their polygamous journey over four years ago. And Garrick also went more into detail about when he told his parents that he wanted to live a polygamous lifestyle. And he said his parents were not accepting whatsoever. They ended up becoming so angry. They ended up kicking Danielle and Garrick off their property. And they said they would have preferred Garrick told them he was playing for the other team or if he would have just bought a hooker instead over the news that he wanted to venture into the polygamous lifestyle. And Garrick hasn't had anything to do with his parents ever since. And Danielle admitted that she's dealt with a lot of jealousy when it came to Roberta and she battled a lot of insecurities. So at the end of the episode, we got to see Garrick, Danielle, and Leah finally meet up. And it seemed like they're all really comfortable and happy around each other. 
Danielle seems to be super excited to have a new potential sister wife in her life. And Gary was just kind of complaining because he was hoping that Leah would be shorter than him, but they're really close to the same height. I wonder what Garrick's nickname for Leah is going to be since Danielle's the big wife and Roberta's the small wife. What is Leah going to be, the tall wife? <laughs> so th we're going to see them all end up calling Roberta in this next episode, even though she's not keen on the idea of Leah being in the picture. And I saw in the previews, it kind of looks awkward because not only is Roberta not feeling it, but there's also that language barrier as well. So I guess we'll see how that all plays out in the next episode. But I think this is a fantastic idea for Danielle. It's really like Danielle taking her power back. And this way, it'll be a way to keep Danielle distracted and have a real sister. And this will give Roberta a chance to be a good sister wife as well instead of putting all her focus in Garrick all the time. And now she gets to understand what Danielle's been going through this whole time. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.